I'm Professor Jeff Ward, and I'm principal of Homerton College, University of Cambridge. Now, most Cambridge colleges and Oxford colleges have a chapel. For historical reasons, Homerton does not. But it has something which is perhaps better. It has an unusual, indeed perhaps unique, partnership with the church in which I'm standing now, St. John the Evangelist Parish Church. This means that although we have our necessarily, in some ways, closed college community, we're also open to the wider world. This is a church in the city of Cambridge, and we are in the city of Cambridge, and we are a college that faces outwards. So in facing outwards, I'm facing you, and I'm saying whoever is listening to this broadcast now, you would be very, very welcome to attend. Thank you. O oh Lord, open thou our lips, and, and our mouth shall show forth thy praise. O oh God, make speed to save us, O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, World without end, amen. Praise ye the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. Hello, welcome. My name is Trish Maud, and I'm the honorary lay chaplain at Homerton College, Cambridge. It is my pleasure to welcome you most warmly to St John's Church, Hills Road, Cambridge, as you join us for this, our last evensong of the academic year, sung by the Charter Choir of Homerton College under the direction of Daniel Trockmay Latter, the Director of Music. I'm joined by the Reverend James Shakespeare, Vicar, and the Reverend Chris Campbell, Curate, here at St John's, and by Professor Geoffrey Ward, the principal of Homerton College. This is an especially poignant service, as the choristers are not here, but are in their home locations scattered across the United Kingdom and abroad. For some, this is their last service as students, so it is good that we can come together in this way and celebrate all the blessings that we have received this year. Now let us continue in worship as the choir sings the psalm that is traditionally sung at our last evensong service, Psalm 150, Praise Ye the Lord. reading is taken from Isaiah chapter 40, starting to read at verse 28. Hast thou not known, hast thou not heard that the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, fainteth not, neither is weary? 
There is no searching of his understanding. He giveth power to the faint, and to them that have no might he increaseth strength. Even the youths shall faint and be weary, and the young men shall utterly fall. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles, they shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk and not feign. Here ends the first reading. The second lesson is taken from the Epistle to the Romans, chapter 12, starting to read at verse 9. Let love be genuine, hate what is evil, hold fast to what is good. Love one another with mutual affection, outdo one another in showing honour. Do not lag in zeal, be ardent in spirit, serve the Lord. Rejoice in hope, be patient in suffering, persevere in prayer. Contribute to the needs of the saints, extend hospitality to strangers. Bless those who persecute you, bless and do not curse them. Rejoice with those who rejoice, weep with those who weep. Live in harmony with one another, do not be haughty, but associate with the lowly. Do not claim to be wiser than you are. Do not repay anyone evil for evil, but take thought for what is noble in the sight of all. If it is possible, so far as it depends on you, live peaceably with all. Here ends the second lesson. Master 
conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with thy spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. O Lord, show thy mercy upon us, and grant us thy salvation. O Lord, save the Queen. And mercifully hear us when we call upon thee. Endure thy ministers with righteousness, and, and make thy chosen, chosen people joyful. O Lord, save thy people, and bless thy inheritance. Give peace in our time, O Lord. Because there is none other that fighteth for us, but only thou, O God. O God, may clean our hearts within us, and take not thy Holy Spirit from us. O Lord, we beseech thee mercifully to hear us, and grant that we, to whom thou hast given an hearty desire to pray, may by thy mighty aid be defended and comforted in all dangers and adversities. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O God, from whom all holy desires, all good counsels, and all just works do proceed, Give unto thy servants that peace which the world cannot give, that both our hearts may be said to obey thy commandments, and also that by we being defended from the fears of our enemies, may pass our time in rest and quietness through the merits of Jesus Christ our Saviour. Amen. Light in our darkness, we beseech thee, O Lord, and by thy great mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this night, for the love of thy only Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. 
the choir will now sing the anthem, a setting of St John's Gospel, chapter 14, verse 27. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give unto you. Not as the world giveth, give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled. The music is by Amy Beach, 1867 to 1944, who was an American composer and pianist and the first successful American female composer of large-scale art music. She composed over 300 works, including her Gaelic symphony, anthems, songs, works for violin and piano, and a mass. Let us pray. On this final service of the academic year, we pray for the whole community of Holmerton College. We hold before you all the graduating students, giving thanks for all they have contributed to the life of the college and praying for them as they take their next steps into work, further education or wherever life will lead them. We pray for current students who have shown so much resilience as they begin their summer break, which might be very different from the one they had originally planned. And we pray for all the college leadership and staff as they continue to adapt and plan amidst the many challenges and changes of this pandemic. Recognising Homerton's history as a teacher training college, we pray for all schools and educational institutions as they too have to adjust to ever-changing guidance. We ask you to sustain and strengthen all senior management teams as they continue to find ways to make schools COVID safe. We pray for our neighbours at the Faculty of Education and for all PGCE students preparing to start as NQTs during this challenging time for education. We pray especially for vulnerable children and young people who are at greater risk during this time, for those who are not safe at home and for those who feel abandoned and alone. We heard in our reading today, St Paul's guidance for showing love in community. 
We give thanks for all the ways we have experienced practical love in action during this pandemic. And in our local community, we pray for the Queen Edith's Happy to Help scheme and the food hub at St. James's Church. Be with all who volunteer during this crisis. Give them energy, enthusiasm and patience and uphold them as they continue to show your love to a world in need. Healing God, we thank you that you have the power to bring each of us to wholeness. We pray for all today who suffer in body, mind and spirit, for the vulnerable and the fearful, for the gravely ill and the dying, that they might know your comfort and peace. We pray too for doctors, nurses, medical researchers and all healthcare staff, particularly those at our local hospital of Addenbrookes. We pray that through their skills and insights, many will be restored to health. And so in a time of silence, we hold before you all our prayers and supplications. Almighty God, who has given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplications unto thee, and has promised that when two or three are gathered together in thy name, thou wilt grant their requests. Fulfill now, O Lord, the desires and petitions of thy servants, as may be most expedient for them, granting us in this world knowledge of thy truth, and in the world to come, life everlasting. Amen.
blessing, I'd just like to take this opportunity to thank all those who have participated in this service. And indeed all the students, all of you, who have done so much to enliven our worship here at St John's uh, in the Charter Choir over the past year. And for those of you who are leaving and graduating, uh, Godspeed to you all and your futures. And to those of you who will be returning, we look forward very much to seeing you in the autumn. And the blessing. Go forth into the world in peace, be of good courage, hold fast to that which is good, render to no one evil for evil, strengthen the faint-hearted, support the weak, help the afflicted, honour everyone, love and serve the Lord, rejoicing in the power of the Holy Spirit and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Ghost, be amongst you and remain with you always. Amen.